Here's a method to accurately unwrap the UVs of the 3D cone shapes, such as yogurt pods, to create a label artwork reference for the real world. Create your 3D cone shape and make it editable. Make an edge selection where you want the ends of your label to join. And a point selection to pin the centre front of the label. The front on world view of the label is distorted by the angle of the sides. To avoid distortion and view the label surface straight on, select a row of polygons at the front of the cone and select Align Work Plane to Selection and activate the front view. The camera is now looking straight at the front polygons, not at an angle as it would be in world space. Now switch to the UV Edit Workspace. With Front Viewport selected, from the UV Projection menu, choose Frontal. Then from the Relax UV menu, Check Pinpoint Selection and Cut Selected Edges are ticked and click Apply and you have a perfect undistorted UV unwrap. Choose Optimal Mapping. Make sure Preserve Orientation and 2D are ticked and click Apply to fit the UV mesh in the default canvas area. To create the artwork reference file Go to File, New Texture. In the pop-up menu, enter your preferred artwork document size and resolution. With the UV Polygon tool selected, Main Menu, UV Edit, Fit Canvas to UV, or hit the center button in the UV window. To save changes, go to File, Save Texture. In the Layers menu, create new layer. Choose Brush Tool, change size to 1 and colour to black. Select all UV polygons and choose Layer, Outline Polygons to create a bitmap layer of your UV mesh. To save changes, again, go to File, Save Texture. Under Materials tab, Create New Material and under Color Texture menu, navigate to your new texture file. Drag the material onto your cone to apply it. To create your artwork template, open a new document in Illustrator, any size. Drag the texture TIFF you just created from the desktop onto your Illustrator document. Go to Object, Artboards, Fit to Selected Art. Now File, Save As. Create your vector elements to fill your new artboard and then select all and copy. Switch back to Photoshop and paste as a smart object. You will now have a vector smart layer in Photoshop, which you can edit in Illustrator and link directly to your 3D model. When you make changes, remember to resave the Photoshop file. And in Cinema, refresh the material by clicking on the Reload Image button under the Texture dropdown. For a sharper viewport image in Cinema, under the Materials Attributes Editor tab, Change Texture Preview Size from default to something a bit higher 
like 2048. I hope you found this useful and look out for more Cinema Bites.